Hi from Camp Quirky. It is very, very windy out there. Um, we got in a day early to be able to set up. Lindsay and the boys are joining me later. But it's going to have a little mooch around and see what's what. This whole field will be full up later with vans. Look how empty it is right now. This wind this weekend I can see is going to be an issue. So apologies for any wind noise in the video. But before the festival opens to the public, I want to show you the toilets because they're quite interesting. Come and have a look at these. Okay, this is a very eco-friendly festival. And with it, we've got eco-friendly toilets. And literally, there's no flushing. It's literally go to the toilet and it's straight down into a wheelie bin. And there you go, you'll see around the back, just wheelie bins and sawdust to pour over the top. But what they do have this year, which I don't think they had in 2019, was somewhere to empty your chemical toilet. Along here, you've got a selection of bell tents that's been set up. Not sure who they're for. I didn't see tickets for renting bell tents, so I don't know, but that's that's interesting. Somebody who hasn't got a van, you can maybe rent a tent. The gates open in half an hour and they'll all be coming in. And this whole field will be full up of vans. Sure. Look what Bruce has just brought me. He's brought me some bunny chow, which is a South African dish. We're gonna tuck into this, see what it's like. This is really good. It's a nice spicy curry, South African spicy curry. And what looks like half a loaf of bread. But um, yeah, real tasty. Good morning from the first Camp Quirky since 2019. From our van, the first area we've come to is the Wellness Village. There are massage, there's osteopaths, there's ceramics, there's crafts, mental health and physical health. But my favorite feature is the cake hole. The cake hole's special feature is that they cook all of their cakes here on site and the white tent behind me is their kitchen. We've come up to the main area and there are four tents named after different types of van. There's Iveco, Sprinter, Transporter, and I think it might be a Master, I can't see it. Um, on each of the, oh, in each of those tents, there are little presentations and talks, there's lessons, there's chats, there's all sorts going on, loads of things to learn and to see. We're also near the bar and some chill out areas for the kids with circus skills and mini golf and a haystack to sit on. Who doesn't need a haystack to sit on when you've got your pint from the bar? Quirky is an off-grid festival so there is no electricity feed from the general grid. All the power here is supplied by solar which is pretty bloody awesome. Especially on a day like today when it is beautiful. It's a really family friendly event, there's loads going on for the kids. Don't bring them to see those potty mouths, our mates Emma and Lou though. Filthy girls. Go on in Georgie, show me how this works. It's like, it's so hard to pedal. <laughs> Never mind keeping... Gotta get in a rhythm, right? Oh, it's hot. you nearly got me 250 quid then, George. <laughs> it looks like Greg's doing something with maths and electricity. Beyond me. <gasps> no. No, he's talking insulation. I know that. I love the mix of people here. There's a lot of older people, there's families, there's people in the middle. Love it. Mm. And then there's us. And there's us. <laughs> what are we? We're not, we're kind of in the middle, aren't we? <laughs> the middle age. There are quite a few van conversion companies here. This one is one of my favourites. I love the colours in here, the green is stunning. And it's a really simple, beautiful layout. I love how open everybody is to you, having a good look around the, the show vans. Steve really likes the wood effect in here. I particularly like the copper washing up bowl, or sink, that would be the word. <laughs> There's a sound bath going on behind us. He's beating the drum and the sound waves are moving over everybody who is meditating and just relaxing. So it's such a relaxed, quirky, chilled out place. A really wonderful festival to come out and just relax at.
we just walked around this area and there's lots of little stalls really hippie lovely stuff there's camper van rentals and conversion companies and a nice little chilled out area under the shade in the middle as well i think i need a cider in the cold we've got some chilling in the van let's go back to the van and get one mm. bruce what's happened to you apparently i've been vajazzled <laughs> awesome buddy it's you like, think it's like a clown threw up on you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. Two. As I'm walking around Quirky Festival, I am loving having a good nosy through all of the beautiful vans. There are so many incredible vans, it's wonderful. We've stopped here at Studley Campers because they're an approved converter and work closely with Quirky. So I'm gonna introduce you to Leo and we're gonna talk about his history with Quirky. Leo. Hello. How on earth did you develop this business so closely with Quirky? So um, I, I was kind of building, I, I built a couple of uh, handcrafted camper vans, you know, hand built early, early days. Mm. Um, and I happened upon Quirky, someone, someone sent me a link to the website and I phoned, uh, I think I spoke to Lindsay for, mm. for quite a while and I kind of said, look, I want to build a little van. And, and Lindsay, you know, I sent them some pictures and they kind of said, that's not quirky style, that's not what we're doing. Mm. Um, and they, they, they sent me a few links to a few bits and pieces. So quite quickly I went off and, and I built two camper yeah. vans. So I built very early quirky hire vans, uh, Genie and Candy. Mm. Then went back to David and Lindsay and said, right, I've, uh, I've built these two, what do you think? <laughs> and they're like, oh my God, how on earth did you do that so quickly? And we kind of, we established a relationship really early on. David and Lindsay are fantastic people. They, 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 know their, they know their brand and they've mm. built they've done a fantastic job with building the quirky van so yeah we had we had two vans on the hire fleet very early on we built cooper which was yeah. a fantastic pro, pro, um, um it was a really popular van on, on the quirky hire and that again spawned lots of lots of different work and lots of different opportunities people phoning up saying oh god we just hired yeah. quirky it's it, quite cooper it's so beautiful can you uh, can you remake that? We've actually remade it three times in, in wow. different guises since. So you started off with tiny vans on your drive and now you have a bigger team? Yeah, so there's there's five, four of us permanently. We have a painter that comes in, so there's team five. Yep. Um, we have a 2,000 square foot unit, three or four vans going. So wow. yeah, we're... Uh, Oh, it's still small, still a small little business, still still family orientated. Yeah. But um, yeah, we've, we've we've come a long way. And it looks about two vans a month, completely bespoke. Yeah, yeah, we we aim for two a month. We did twenty six vans last year. Yeah. So so yeah, it's still small but big enough. Beautiful, lovely. Another fantastic day at Quirky, just wandering around, getting to know everyone. But we decided, look, let's get changed. It's Saturday night, let's put on some fresh clothes and head down to the beer tent where everyone was meeting. Now, we didn't know at the time, because I guess we didn't read the uh, programme, but there's a fire show on there and everyone was congregating around, the guys were setting up. Um, but there was a bit of a delay until they caught the fire brigade in place to oversee it all. Um, crowds are waiting in anticipation and what turned out to be a fantastic fire show. stayed back over there I've come back with George and we've set up the projector screen and we're watching Jack Sucks Alive yay how cool is that morning George hey I'm sleeping oh it's like the morning after the night before there's hay everywhere from the um, haystacks this is where the fire show was last night and George's found a mate to play mini golf with. Oh, it's just so lovely. Russell Brand and his wife were spotted at the festival. Oi, Russell. Russell, I heard he was at the festival. How's it been for you? Well, it's f***ing great, mate. It's f***ing great. Yeah, f***ing great. <laughs> not enough words. More words. More words. No, I'm not allowed to swear on you, I think. Come on. Liam, how's the festival been, all right? It's all right, yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> he was just saying how he's enjoyed himself this weekend, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's not Man been of many able words. to find too much to grumble about. Not found too much to grumble about. No. That's the 
toilets. The toilets. Yeah, the toilets are a little bit. I'm yeah. a poo on somebody else's poo. <laughs> Ain't my idea of fun. <laughs> Is it? Especially when there's a hundred people's poos there to have a poo on top. <laughs> and then when you do a wee on top of that. It's out of order. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> There's a house in it, and it's like... A house full of hay, made of hay. Yes, so you're not really allowed to climb it. Oh, how about going inside? Hey Georgie, what's it like in there, buddy? Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so Quirky Campers started off as a van rental company. <clears throat> really quirky, beautiful vans. We're just listening to Lindsay and David, the, the people behind Quirky Campers, and they're just showcasing some of their owners. So they're doing a panel and talking about it. It's really interesting. Using my shadow to tell the time. Just after 11. But the sun's just gone in. Yeah. The boobs might be closer to 12 though. <laughs> We've just taken a walk down the main food area and there are wraps and French toast and crepes and all sorts of great stuff. Really busy last night. A little bit quieter this morning but we're not even at lunchtime yet so that could be why. Found another solar power station. That's exactly what it is. A solar power station on a fire engine. <laughs> How quirky is that? Very. Do you like my necklace? It looks lovely. Yeah, it was from Horsefoot Camper Creations and they're gorgeous and lovely people, but isn't it beautiful? It is lovely. You'll know that we like to meet the people behind the scene and we were so fortunate to get five minutes with David, one of the partners behind Camp Quirky. Really quick question. Yeah, sure. How on earth do you go from your Quirky Camper's original business plan to run in a festival. Yeah. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> well, so the story is that we, behind it is that we started. We decided to have a post-season meet with the mm. owners, um, which I think we were about 16 vans at the time. Yeah. Uh, so we had a bunch of different owners. Twelve of us decided to meet up at a campsite in uh, in the Cotswolds. Yeah. Um, we just each individually booked our pitch um, and shared food, but you know, bring and share barbecue type thing. Yeah. And um, uh, I was on the phone to a customer the, a couple of days in advance of this happening and I mentioned that we're going to be 12 of us at a campsite and they were like oh wow could I come and have a look yeah. uh, this is a potential customer at this stage could I come and have a look at the uh, at the campfires and I thought oh, that's a good idea why not so we checked with the other owners who were going to be there and they they were like yeah sure fine that's no problem so the day before we were due to meet up we put out a message on Facebook and the following day we had 40 people show wow. so we were like oh right okay there's a there's a desire for people to come and have a look around the vehicles and so yeah. the following year we tried something a little bit bigger um, but we were limited to I don't know what it was 100 parking spaces or something and so we were pay people were we were charging people for those and they'd sold out like that wow. uh, months in advance and we we're like okay right so once that had happened we we're like there we need to do an event yeah. so we put on an event for 700 people Love it. Um, and then uh, that went quite well and we kind of got accustomed became accustomed to uh, some of the needs of uh, events still quite small so it was on tens license mm. did another one that's when we were on this site in 2019 mm. uh, that was then 1,800 people on site uh, and uh, what it was about 800 camper vans yeah uh, and then obviously we've had two years away with the pandemic and various cancellations and postponements and yeah. all that and we are now finally back 45 percent bigger than we were um, we expect around about 2,700 people yep. on site this weekend Amazing. Um, and uh, yeah well over 1,200 vehicles maybe yeah. Um, and some, as you, I don't know if you've had a chance to look around, but we some absolutely have stunning rigs, oh, and it's been awesome. so beautiful. And it's been a great weekend. We've loved it. Great. Has it been great for you as well? Uh, in in parts, <laughs> yeah. it's been wonderful, and yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. There's also, as with you know, as you can imagine, with any event, there's stuff that goes wrong, and Yay. it's quite stressful. But what I absolutely love is in meeting, in particular, the businesses that have grown off the back of, of what we're doing yeah. and off this community. So mm. the converters, we've got the converter village now for the first time. There's 17 businesses in there, and they have all started from either hiring out their van or renting one of our vans, and then developing a conversion business and gone on to do really amazing stuff. And they're they're, they're producing these fantastic conversions mm. and and these are people I've got a long relationship with and I know well and, and we're good friends and it's just so cool to be yeah. able to meet face to face similarly with all the van owners that we're hiring out uh, with um, uh, you know they're people who I've been talking to for some of them four years mm. on zoom calls and we've been on panels and, and, and talked to many many times on the phone but back and forth with email and to meet them face to face mm. uh, this this gives us that opportunity to do that and it's been quite emotional for me because yeah. it's been such a long time in the coming in, in coming to this point um, but yeah so I've, overall I've absolutely loved it but yeah. running an event is quite stressful it is very stressful we have an amazing team yes 
that's good it's having the right people is great yes and plans for next year have you got big plans is it gonna be next year De yeah. we're definitely gonna have a May event next year that, mm. that, that I can say for certain um, I in terms of what where we go some kind of strategy we, mm. we don't have that right now I feel like you know we need to get through this <laughs> oh, exactly probably smaller is where yeah. I'd like to go okay. um, but uh, I don't know we so we so Nikki is our uh, event director she's at the mm. festival director she's done an amazing job of putting to putting this together so she's mm. booking everything bringing in all of the people for the traffic and the, the accreditation and all mm. the traders etc so there's an enormous amount of work she's been working solidly full-time mm. on that for the last six months um, and she's uh, so it depends a little bit on her ambition yes. and how uh, so, and I think I'd probably leave any questions about that to, for, for at least three or four weeks she's yeah. got a bit of annual leave book <laughs> in, I hope in a couple of weeks time I hope she's going somewhere As with cocktails I, uh, <laughs> yeah. with my, with, um, the family and I we're off uh, a week after next uh, we're, we're off on a, on a six week trip down to Montenegro and Albania oh so, it's yeah, amazing in, in a, in a, it uh, is fabulous you're going to love it right. down there it's going to be beautiful How's your Thank weekend you. been? It's been amazing, absolutely fantastic. I think the great weather's really helped as yes. well on the top yeah. of everything, but the workshops have been interesting. There's just so much to look at and see and do, and everything's so beautiful. That's the thing about quirky, it's quirky but beautiful. <laughs> That's what I like. Thank you. The smiles and the people is really what really does it for me. Yeah. That's, that's really Thank awesome. You. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you very Great. much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. The Camp Quirky Festival has been amazing. It's a little pricier than some of the other events out there, but it's a festival. It's got workshops and events and music, and there's so much happening. It has been beautiful and quirky and wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>